last days of September and the Red Deer Rut is still going strong. A new adventure lies ahead. As we climb up the mountain on our usual path, some newly appeared bear tracks remind us that you don't afford to be arrogant here. There are other rules and forces to be respected. But this is the beauty of it. It wouldn't be wilderness if the element of danger or unknown would be absent. I even feel like this humbling feeling is good for the soul. We're exploring a new area and this brings excitement to our trip. There is a question resounding in our minds. What will we encounter this time? After a strenuous hike over the top of the mountain, we finally get close to our destination. I get ahead of the three-man group to scout for a camping location and have a close and sweet encounter. The reaction of the calf after seeing me was priceless. Although his mother didn't see me, she noticed the guys coming from behind me as they entered the opening and ran away. What a cool encounter. It's almost sunset. We can hear a couple of stags roaring. After settling in, we take a quick look around while there's still light. Just downhill from us, we find a limping roe deer buck. He leaves the area while barking characteristically. At the last rays of light, the wind intensifies on the ridges, getting fog and clouds into motion and creating breathtaking views. In our short walk, we even get the chance to see four young stags and the hind grazing. This place is great. As we return to the camp, looking at the amazing scenery around us, we realize how blessed we are to be here. The wonderful atmosphere is completed by the roars of the stags that accompany us as we close our eyes to sleep. It's morning. We wake up to the roars of a stag that is passing by just uphill from us. He's going towards an area where there's more deer activity. He's a younger stag, so he has to be careful and stay away from the big guys. Coincidentally, we are planning to go in the same direction, so we quickly prepare our things and start following him. But not before taking a few pictures of the fog covering the valleys. Beautiful. 
the stag advances slowly, so we manage to catch up to him. We film him until he passes over the ridge. A local peregrine falcon also points the way. Once we're over the ridge, we immediately spot our first tag. But the real commotion is a bit lower. There's a small opening there and hopefully we'll get to see the stags that are roaring. There's a quite vocal stag very close to us, but the terrain is such that it's very difficult to approach him without being heard. As expected, he noticed something. This stag is not at his peak yet. Still has room to grow. He lives for the safety of the forest. Although it's a pity that he left, there are other stags roaring close by. We advance to check the stag that's roaring from the other side of the opening, and what we see makes our jaws drop. From the darkness of the forest, an amazing stag is coming out. We're excited and can't believe our eyes. This is one of the most beautiful stags we've seen. We've been searching these mountains for years and finally found a monster of a stag. He's a superb 16-pointer and probably still has room to grow. Sweet. Unfortunately, our encounter is short. He gets back into the forest. We wait for a while without success then decide to leave and come back tomorrow to find him because on the opposite mountainside there seems to be a lot of activity and we want to check that place too. On the way there I stumble upon a beautiful slow worm that seems to be quite inactive. Probably because of the cold weather. As I walk on the ridge a younger stag that was standing to my right sees the top of my head before I can react and runs away. There are several stags roaring in this area. As I continue my descent on the ridge, I hear a stag in front and he's very close, but I just get a glimpse of him without being able to film. He descended towards another roaring stag. The musky smell of rutting stags is very thick in this area. Suddenly, I can hear other stags roaring to my right. I position myself in a good spot and wait. These stags are very angry. Although they are very close, I can't see them unless they leave the thicket. So I wait for an hour, during which I can hear them roaring, chasing and fighting. A pity I can't see anything. I continue down the ridge to explore other areas and I hear another stag right to my left, but this one's in the thicket too. The rest of the evening, I continue exploring new areas with a few more close encounters, but again with no video. At one point, two stags almost got in a fight, but were scared by a passing biker. The guy started yelling desperately, thinking they were bears. After a somewhat disappointing evening, we returned to our camp. On the way, we find this funny young stag. He only noticed us when we got at 20 meters from him.
Today, the sunset is particularly mesmerizing. It's like the sky is on fire. Tomorrow, we'll have to return home, but before hiking back to the car, we plan to check on that beautiful stag. We pack our things early in the morning and start our hike, making a detour to search for the big boy. First we hear him and after 20 minutes we finally spot him. He's at the very bottom of the valley. Such a beautiful stag. It seems that he has a bone to pick with a strong stag that we kept hearing nearby these days. He has descended quite a bit from the place we saw him yesterday at. As observed yesterday, he doesn't hold any hinds. It is unknown if he, at some point, had the harem but lost it to another stag. What's clear is that he's single and on bad terms with his neighbor from over the creek. Now that we've confirmed this is his area, we have more confidence we're gonna find him the next time we come here. <laughs> 